y'all welcome back your hi if you're new here my name is olivia and i make mostly fashion and lifestyle content and i'd love for you to go ahead and subscribe so today i'm going to be doing a telfar unboxing if you guys are not familiar with telfar it is a unisex luxury brand that was founded by telfar clemens in 2005 he started the brand because he wanted to tear down the old way of the fashion system and create a brand that stands for financial racial and gender inclusivity in 2020 the brand really popped off and now their items sell out within minutes anytime that there's a drop Many of you have probably seen the famous shopping bag. It is a vegan leather tote bag that comes in three different sizes and ranges from $150 to about $300, I believe. Since the brand has taken off, they have collaborated with other brands such as UGG, and so many celebrities have been seen carrying the shopping bag, including Beyonce, Selena Gomez, and Bella Hadid, just to name a few. So I first came across the brand in January of 2021. I believe I found it first on Hot Limoge. YouTube channel which I absolutely love him he is like a fashion critic and he just knows everything about high-end fashion and luxury so definitely check him out that's whenever I first came across the brand and I immediately loved the chocolate brown bag and I wanted it in a medium so that I could use it for work but also use it as like an overnight bag and it was just a really good size that you could kind of take with you in the day-to-day -day life but also use for like trips as a carry-on or something so I really really wanted the medium sized bag and after a year of watching for drops and trying to get it back. I even gave up on trying to get the chocolate brown one. Like I've tried to get a blue one. I think I tried to get like a black one. Like I've tried multiple times. I nearly got one from the UGG collab, but I was like, it's not gonna make me want the leather one any less, which is just a good tip in general for like shopping. Think about, is this going to fulfill a need or am I still gonna want whatever the original item is? So I still would have wanted this one that I have now. You guys, I finally got it. Let's just get into this unboxing. I'm really excited. I've honestly already taken it out, but I repackaged it for you guys because I just wanted to show you and give you the full experience. If you guys are following me on TikTok, you may have already seen my unboxing and you may have already seen the bag as well. So you guys should definitely follow me over there. It's olivia.knowles and I will leave it in the description. But here we go. Here's how the box comes. The bag just comes in this flat little box. I've already opened it, as you guys know. It just opens like a pizza box. And then the bag is in a Ziploc plastic bag that just says Telfar, established 2005 in New York City on it. I thought this was a great precaution to really protect the bag. And then the bag also comes in a dust bag that has the Telfar logo on the front of it, which you can see the T and the C. It's for Telfar Clemens. And I think I read that one of his school teachers actually created this logo way back in the day and he was like insistent on keeping it, which I like the logo. I think it's pretty cool. I give the packaging a 10 out of 10, honestly, for having it in a dust bag, first of all, because I'm a coach girl and I've gotten so many bags from coach over the past like year or two and none of them have ever come with dust bags. And I'm like, this is so like, makes the experience worse. Like it makes it just seem so much cheaper. Like adding the thought into packaging packaging and making sure that everything is protected really does elevate the brand from my perspective and just any brand in general. Some of my coach bags have come in just a shipping label, which okay, they're from Macy's. I haven't ordered from the literal coach website. So you guys will have to let me know if it comes from the literal coach website, if it's in a dust bag, but whenever it comes from Macy's, it isn't. And if you get anything from the outlet, it also isn't. And I'm just like, whatever. So I was very impressed that it came with a dust bag. And then here is my bag. So like I said, I got the shopper tote in a size medium in the chocolate brown color. It has two long shoulder straps and then just little handle straps as well. And then it's got the logo embossed. Here's a close up on the logo. You guys, I know a lot of resellers are selling fake ones. So I don't know if seeing this one up close helps you at all. It's raised, but it's not crazy raised. It's dead center. This is about the proportion that it takes up. I really recommend trying to get it off of stock X because they keep them in stock there you can find tons of different ones that are authenticated or just getting it on the drop from the telfar website itself and don't recommend buying one from random sellers on like poshmark because it could be fake like i've seen a lot of fake ones so that's why i never did that that's why i waited over a year to be able to order it from the telfar website also another thing that's interesting is that whenever you open the bag the tag and everything that you would perceive as the back of the bag which i'll give you a close-up on tag it's just like that and then there's a zipper pocket tag is also down in the bottom of the bag and then on the back of it it has like what the bag is made of and all of that here is also just a close-up on 
the stitching. I'm trying to think if there's any like identifying things on the bag that I would want to see if I was considering purchasing one secondhand, which again, I don't recommend, but hopefully this can help you if you decide to do so. And hopefully the packaging and everything can help you as well. It only has a snap closure. And then I've been using mine for like a week or so, I would say I've been carrying it to work. So I am going to show you guys what I carry in it to work as well as what I would carry in it for like an overnight bag because I did carry it as an overnight bag. Like once the first time I carried it from the the way it's like stored and everything it does have that crease on the back of it but that doesn't really bother me at all like I said I carry it with the logo in front I do use the long straps it does get a little heavy if you have too much stuff in it so that is something to consider again this is the medium size I love this size again for like work for running around I feel like it's one that you can use as kind of an overnight bag but you can also carry it in your day-to-day -day life but I do kind of want the larger size to use more as an overnight bag if that makes sense also i just take a lot of photos and like lug clothes around with me like whenever i go out with my girlfriends they're like can you bring like every outfit so that i can try them on so that we can all figure out what we're gonna wear so i end up lugging tons of clothes with me so i do kind of want the larger size in like a more fun color so that i can use it for purposes like that but i wanted this one in the brown so that it would be more of a neutral and i could carry it with more of my outfits and like day-to-day -day life so i'm happy that i went with this one but i am interested in like a really big one too although i don't know how heavy it would be since i mentioned that it gets kind of heavy so let's go ahead and show what all fits into my bag and then i'll give you guys my final thoughts okay so a typical rundown of what i put in my telfar medium bag for work First up is my MacBook, a planner, and my iPad. Both my computer and phone charger, as well as my camera adapter for my computer. A pen. I typically have AirPods, a chapstick, a mask, and then another little notebook. A hand sanitizer. My iPhone. My wallet and keys. And then I will sometimes also throw a water bottle and my lunch container in here if I'm not wanting to carry a lunch box that day. So that's it, pretty full. You could add maybe another small pouch of some sort, but that's typically what I would pack. And here's just an above shot. I'm gonna take out the lunch so that you can see kind of how everything goes. So I typically file like all the flat things to one side and then put all the non-flat things to the other side. So it carries a lot, definitely enough for a good work day. So packing it more as an overnight bag, let's do a pair of pajamas in a lounge set, assuming that you just wear the same shoes you already have on. My makeup bag, it's typically filled completely. It's a little loosely filled right now. Add in my makeup remover and perfume hairbrush and contact solution toothbrush and toothpaste and then in this case i would probably only take my phone charger and then let's say deodorant and a towel that i use to remove my makeup sometimes so it's completely full with that whenever i take out the towel i've got everything else just kind of down in there with the clothes on the bottom. Okay, y'all, so that is everything that can fit in my Telfar medium-sized bag. Just to give you guys my final thought, the few things that I would note on is that it gets a little heavy on the shoulder if you try to jam pack way too much stuff in there. I think that this size is perfect for a work bag or just to grab a few things to go to someone's house for the day. If you want this to be more of a tote bag that you can carry in your day-to-day -day life, I definitely recommend the size medium. I'm not really interested in the size small. It's like it's tiny, which I like small bags, but I just really prefer the style of this medium. And if you're looking for something that's more of a carry-on that you want to pack like multiple outfits and like toiletries and stuff like that in, then I would really recommend the larger size. But this one I feel like is the best bat for your day-to-day -day life and it has a lot of versatility in it so so far i am really loving my telfar bag i will update you guys if something changes but i've been carrying it about a week and a half to work and it's been great so far let me know what you guys think about the telfar brand and i'll see you guys next time bye